Hello, today we are going to talk about how to run Flash Player apps and games in Windows in the year 2022. So let's see what the Flash Player is. So this is the Wikipedia page for Flash Player, the former Macromedia Flash Player, a stable part of the web browser and um, of Microsoft Windows since forever. Plenty of uh, games and other applications used uh, Adobe Flash Player. Now has been phased out for a number of years. On December 8, 2022. Uh, 2020. Okay, so the alternative that we have is that there's a Adobe Flash Player 32-bit standalone, so not a web browser plugin, but a standalone executable. One executable doesn't need to be installed, automatically registers as handler for files with the extension SWF. Available on archive.org. It's a uh, Windows executable. Let's download this thing. Okay, so it finished downloading. Let's now find a um, Flash Player application to show how it uh, runs. So still on the archive.org web page, we have thinking in C. which is a multimedia seminar that uses a flash player. Um, so it's in fact a uh, PowerPoint presentation plus a um, audio track. So in order to keep the sync between uh, the PowerPoint presentation and the, the audio, they have used this complicated thing, which is a Flash Player application. It could, it could have been just a single long, seven hours long or something video. This way the audio and video would have been in sync. Okay, download the zip file. Let's make a directory in here. We got today's date. Save. Okay, it has done all this successfully. Uh, on this uh, Windows machine, I have just installed Double Commander, which is a um, orthodox file manager, Firefox, and as I do in all in all machines, 7-zip. So let's extract the 7-zip or we could extract with uh, the usual Windows built-in uh, ex extractor. Okay, so comp compressed is 93 megabytes, expanded is kind of the same. Okay. And uh, it's a web application. Okay. And this is the way it looks like. So it's a web page that just references a chapter. And uh, each chapter is nothing more than a SWF file. So it's just lecture.swf, nothing else. Just make sure make sure that uh, um, software flash, the flash player web browser plugin is available. If not, it tells you you should download it from here. 
okay, from flash cab version something. But all of these stopped working when Flash Player stopped working in web browser. So we are not offered the possibility of downloading the missing Flash Player. We're not given the Flash Player plugin. So we'll just have to open lecture.swf by ourselves. So that's in chapters, chapter one, and then the biggest file in there. Not really. The biggest SWF file in there, which is um, lecture.swf, double click on it. It says, What do you want to open this file with? We're going to ignore the prompt. Instead, we're going to run the Flash Player that we have just downloaded. So, Flash Player underscore 32 underscore SAXN. So, 32 bit Flash Player. Standalone executable 15 megabytes. I open it by entering on it, pressing the enter key or double clicking. So, this is the way it looks like it's just a canvas on this white big rectangle. The body will, the SWF file, be loaded and a application menu. Okay, so let's close this thing. And now, if I double click on uh, lecture.swf, so how it works is that this is a big download, 15 megabyte, um, doesn't install anything anywhere, but still, when you start it the first time, so it doesn't appear in Edremo programs, you can't uninstall it, it's just a file, no other DLRs or nothing, but when you run it the first time, it automatically reg registers with the Windows. GUI shell application, which is Explorer, for my user, that um, SWF files should always be handled by this executable. So, flash player underscore 32 underscore sa.exe. So, now I just double clicked on lecture.swf, didn't need to do anything extra, and uh, Windows knew that uh, for my user, files such as these lecture.swf have the extension SWF, so it's a Flash Player application and should be handled by this executable Flash Player 32 SA. Okay, so that's it. You double click on Flash Player 32 SA once to make it a register um, that for your user Windows Explorer the shell should always. Uh, open SWF files with this executable, and then you just double click on the executables you want on the SWF files Hello, that you want. This is Chuck Allison. Welcome to Thinking and C. Let's make it shut up. And everything works perfectly in Adobe Flash Player, 32-bit uh, standalone graphics. Um, I don't know multimedia, media, audio, video resizing of flash presentations everything mouse actions keyboard everything works exactly as you'd expect but just not inside of the web browser but inside of this uh, other application which is the adobe flash player 32 bit standalone okay if the registering of uh, files with type SWF to be opened with this executable would not have worked, then the workaround would have been open the Flash Player standalone and then drag and drop an SWF file on top of it. Hello, this is Chuck Ellis. Or if not, the slowest path possible, which is file open, and you give it a file name in here. So let's like select the lecture.swf file. I have mark copy file names with full path, control V and enter. Hello, this is Chuck Allison. Well okay. So either you open the executable and you go file open and open the SWF file, or open the executable and drag and drop an SWF file on top of it, or just by opening it once, again it registers at as file handler for SWF files, and then you just double click on SWF files. 
So that was a Flash Player application. Let's find a Flash Player game. So on archive.org, there's many Flash Player games have, that have been saved. Now they're copyrighted Flash Player games, but since the technology is not this widespread anymore, these uh, human creations risk of uh, disappearing from the internet. So in order not to disappear from the internet, the archive.org website is collecting them. So, what application should I choose? This thing, because I know how it works. They say they have an emulator in archive.org. I'm not going to show that. I'm just going to download the SWF file, which is named Shockwave Flash in uh, archive.org. Uh, sorry, today's directory save. I finished downloading. Okay, so just double click on it. It opens correctly, sound works, everything's really great. Let me show you the sound. Hello, this is Chuck Allison. Welcome to Thinking and See, Foundations for Jobs. So sound works. So it's a tic-tac-toe game. Resize, full screen, everything works as you'd expect. Full screen, control F. Okay, what do you try to do? This thing. Click to play again. So I didn't lose. That's always great. Escape to escape, uh, exit full screen and close the application. So this was it. This was how to still be able to enjoy Flash Player games and applications in recent versions of Windows in the year 2022. After the moment that uh, Adobe stopped uh, making public Flash Player uh, web browser plugins and has phased out end of life the technology Flash Player. So, thank you.